What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today we're going to be talking about what's on my iPad. Uh, I did a video uh, yesterday where I was talking about uh, how I hook up my live key situation uh, at church and for gigs and things like that. And so I had an overwhelming response from people that wanted to know what apps am I using now today in 2019. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the apps that I'm using. Now, I'll start out with the Prime app. Uh, I would be totally remiss if I didn't mention this and if I didn't put this first. Uh, this is an app uh, made by a partner company that I uh, am partnered with called Loop Community. Uh, they create, you know, and I, I run gospelmultitracks.com. Some of you who have been following know that. Um, and so we are partnered with that company and they make the Prime app. And that this is an app that's basically, for lack of a uh, better explanation, it's kind of like Ableton on your iPad without them recording and all of that. It's main, mainly for you church musicians that want to supplement your band situation. You can control every aspect of the track. I can control the volumes on everything. I have click and cues. I have key change. I have a, a BPM change, all of that stuff like that. I can create set lists. It's a dope app. I may just do a review. I don't think I've ever done an, a, an actual full review on this channel. I have on my Gospel Multitracks channel, but I haven't done it on this channel. But you know, you can go in there, check it. I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in checking that out without taking a whole lot of time, giving this, this app a whole lot of screen time that I've talked about on my other channel extensively. So the Prime app is one app that I use consistently to run my tracks and play my tracks uh, and things um, on my iPad. Now, everything else is kind of in this music folder. Uh, we continue in the track vein. Uh, of course, I use iMachine 2. Uh, it is my weapon of choice. Uh, I've used I'm, IMPC and all of those others, but haven't been really impressed uh, by the workflow. I enjoy the workflow of machine. You know, it just works good for me. It's very responsive. So I use iMachine 2 um, a whole lot. You know, if I just need to play a click track, uh, you know, that I don't have stems for, uh, then I use iMachine just to kind of run clicks, uh, drum loops for those who don't know, you know, what I mean by clicks. Um, I use that to kind of run my drum loops uh, and all of that kind of stuff on Sundays or gigs or whatever the case may be. So iMachine 2... Uh, of course, when it comes to like piano and mains and playing piano, you got to go with uh, Ravenscroft. Uh, it's just my favorite piano for iOS. As you've seen on this channel, you probably see it a whole lot. But Ravenscroft is one of my uh, favorite pianos uh, that I use. Um, it's just it's just a very rich, uh, rich sounding piano. Very full, very warm. Um, Probably, the, in my opinion, the most realistic sounding piano on iOS. Um, the Korg module uh, is the other app that I use pretty heavily. Uh, it's really great uh, for like auxiliary stuff, uh, leads, uh, synths, pads. As you can see, I have a pad loaded up here. You know, have that loaded up or whatever. So you can kind of see that. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of synth stuff. And uh, what I love about Module is that they have a lot of expansions. So I have the Ivory expansion. I have the uh, classic Scarby uh, um, um, 88M one. I also have the Ivory Mobile Grand and my favorite, which is the Triton uh, expansion. I really love that. They have some other ones. I don't think I've, I've done it. I have Whirly, uh, but I haven't done the tape, but the favorite expansion is the Triton, uh, expansion. It was really, really cool, dope. So if you get this app, you should definitely get the Triton, uh, the Triton expansion because you get all those classic Triton sounds, uh, and leads and strings and all of that stuff like that, which is really, really cool. So uh, Korg Module app is a really, really dope app that I use a lot for my uh, layers and my uh, lead synths and auxiliary stuff. Of course, MK Sensation is another app that I use a whole lot of. Uh, it's really, really cool because it's kind of like one of those all-in-one apps that I can kind of arm different tracks, not tracks, but different layers of sounds. 
uh, and mix them together. Uh, it's really, really cool. Then you got all your volume controls over here and everything to where you can control the volumes on it. Uh, it's really, really cool. I've used it a lot for strings and pads and layers. Uh, I've used this standalone. Sometimes if I'm just running in real quick, I ain't got time to set nothing up. I just need to get ready, get go, get down and dirty. I'll go in acoustic piano, pad, strings, and I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So the app is really, really dope for that kind of stuff. Um, Basilicious. I love this uh, because, uh, and I haven't actually used this on my new iPad so because I haven't restored my my uh, in-app purchase and all that stuff like that. But this is really, really cool uh, because it's like a, you know, it's like a um, bass, synth bass, key bass. So I've used this in the past for like leads, uh, auxiliary stuff, key bass when I want to play it. Really, really dope app. Uh, you should check that out. It's really, really cool. Um, let's see what. So, of course, Neo Soul Keys. I gotta grab that. This is one of my favorites. I'm an EP junkie, uh, Rhodes junkie. Uh, so, uh, I love using this one. Um, this is one of my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite apps, just bar none, period, uh, because it's just so comprehensive. Tons of EPs, uh, tons of other sounds. It's really, really dope. Uh, made by my guy, Jamal Hartwell. Really, really dope uh, app uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Let's kind of close some of this out. Um, the iMini, I use this because uh, it's like a Moog. Again, kind of with the leads the auxiliary stuff, um, uh, key bass. It's really, really cool and allows you to kind of create some some really kind of cool sounds or whatever uh, for use for that kind of stuff uh, when you just need some auxiliary sounds. I use that a lot. Uh, the BS16i, I've been talking about this app for years. Uh, I've used this um, extensively. Uh, and I always keep it in because I can use this. It's got a lot of the general MIDI sounds uh, in it. That's what I love about it. So it's got a ton of just, you know, these type sounds, the general MIDI stuff. I don't know if you guys remember. If you've had a Casio keyboard or a Yamaha keyboard, you know what general MIDI sounds are. But uh, it's got a lot of that in here so I can actually... Uh, pull these up and use I use a lot of this stuff for like auxiliary stuff you know maybe I want to uh, use a you know one of the I use these leads I use bells out of here uh, that's why I have kind of like these little this little bell sound I use it as layers uh, in my sound or whatever so um, bs 16 i and you can also do load sound fonts into that I've done videos on that in the past on how you can load in uh, a sound font uh, and be able to like, you know, basically use it as a sampler. So it's a really, really dope ha app to have in your arsenal if you have like sound fonts or you can, because there's a ton of them you can find online and you can actually load into your iPad and have some different sounds or whatever. So it's really, really cool app to have in your arsenal. Um, the last app, I, a garage band, I use that kind of, of course, for recording. I don't really use that live. I use that for like, you know, uh, all of that kind of stuff like that. Oh, and the Galileo organ. I know there's a lot of you that saying like John Mike, there's, you're going to be saying in the comments, there's a version two out. Yes, there is. Um, I just haven't had a chance to check it out yet because church I'm at now, we don't really do a whole lot of the backing up of the preacher and that kind of thing like that. So, um, you know, cause I play in like a youth sanctuary. I play in youth church. I feel in in Maine sometimes, uh, but most of the time I play for the kids, for the youth, you kids, they ain't doing like high praise, organ, shout, all that kind of stuff like that. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't really get a chance to use this a whole lot, uh, but I have it, you know, in my arsenal uh, for the off chance that I do use it. But it's a great app for Oregon. I'd suggest you check out version two, even though I haven't checked it out yet. Um, the last app I want to talk about is probably the most useful one. And I have a, an extensive review coming of this app uh, really, really soon. And it is called the uh, AUM app. Uh, and it's basically an app that allows you to, um, uh, it's, it's like main stage on your iPad, for lack of a better word. So I can reload my last session uh, just to kind of show you how it works. But you can you can have multiple uh, instruments loaded up, multiple AU instruments or multiple um, audio unit instruments, as we call them, or audio unit apps 
or just VST apps. Like you see, I have uh, Ravenscroft, uh, MK Sensation, uh, BS16, Oregon, all of that loaded up here. Uh, and I can control the volumes on everything. Uh, and I can uh, route these sounds to different keyboards um, and use it. So it's like main stage on your iPad. This is probably the best app for that. And there's a ton of other pro features uh, that I'm going to get into in its own video because this app deserves its own video by itself. It is just that dope. And it's just basically the hub for everything because when I'm when I'm playing and using my iPad live, I'm not switching back and forth. I'm not doing this, you know, jumping up, you know, and going here and jumping into this app and going up here, you know, to jumping over here into this app. No, I'm controlling everything from AUM uh, volumes and all of that kind of stuff. So this stays up on my screen so I can control my layers, my, um, sounds my volume all of that stuff like that so really really cool app and that's pretty much what's on my ipad and what i use i uh, hope this video helped you hope it blessed you hope it gave you some insight uh you know how we do with it throw a like if you loved it uh hit the subscribe uh, subscribe subscribe button uh and do all those things that you normally do in the video but uh what are some apps that you guys are using i want to throw that question to you what's some apps that you guys are using uh on your ipads uh that you've heard about or that you want to use or that you want to keep going or whatever let me know in the comments uh and i'll um you know we'll, we'll check them out or you may have some other people that'll check them out all right i'll talk to you guys on the next video i'm out holla at your boy